Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Matt. Welcome back to our driveway. My driveway is someone's driveway. This is Chad and Colton back again. The last two times we cut up some of your, I don't know, more normal stuff. What in the heck is this thing? You said you and wanted something here? more funky. Putrid um, burl, I think, yep. is what we're coining it as this time. A putrid burl. So this is some kind of burl thing. Burl thing. <laughs> something like that. Half dead burl thing. Okay, so. Curly burl thing. Uh, give me give me some ideas here. Like what what are we trying to achieve from this? Because I'm looking at this like I got nothing. Where do you start? Yeah. Right. There see, there you go. Colton's words of wisdom. <laughs> Where do you start? <laughs> um, burl cookies for coffee table end tables. And then maybe we get like a desk slab somewhere in the middle. You sound very sure of yourself. I'm trying to manifest that's what it's going to become, but it's putrid and it might not stay together. Okay, so at least on this side, at least, it looks fairly solid. This actually looks like a solid, decent burl. The reverse side seems like it's pretty well decayed away. So I got, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. There's some ripply stuff in the actual log, too. Yeah, curly, like probably curly. And we have a crotch. So. Curl, burl, crotch figure. I don't know, man. Okay, so we're gonna cut it in this kind of this plane, is what we decided, I think, before the camera started. If we can get it to Maybe. sit right, yeah, we'll give it a whirl. Because you're trying to get, you're thinking like, we'll get, you'll get some smaller, kind of weird shape things up top. Some filler pieces for epoxy. Yeah, and then we get, when we get past this bulge here and into like the actual log, we should have something that's like a desk size. Is 30 by 60, may, maybe yeah. 36 by 60, yeah. In, in theory, okay. Really, everything's dependent on your professional cribbing. Yeah, okay, we'll see about that. And so, how good you are at screwing. I'm not that good at screwing. Um, this, this, this is wonky. Yeah, so the, the, yeah, we'll, we'll have to do a little bit of blocking. This side's low still, so we got to pick this side and stabilize the whole thing. So we'll do that first, and maybe you'll change your mind. This is the way. Because that's what you do. So because this thing is so like weird and wobbly or whatever, I'm going to try and block this thing as best as possible. And then to make this a little bit faster and easier to saw, I'm going to come in as deep as I can with the saw and make a facing cut. And we'll have basically two halves-ish or two pieces of a log. They'll have both pieces down on the bed. We'll be able to slice basically twice as fast because we're cutting two log things at the same time. So this side gets stabilized and then we can pick that side up and then psh, haircut. A lot off the top. Let's take it all back. Buzz cut. Bearish, maybe? I, so. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Let's pick the other side and we'll see where it wants to go. How are we on? Are we okay? Oh, we got room, right? Okay. Room for days. Trying to roll away. Is that high enough? I have to go just a little bit more. Okay. Hope it doesn't try and skate off this block. It's gonna roll right off it. I think it's gonna try and roll this block out of here. Yeah. If we uh, took that two by four. Kind of screwed in here between these two to keep it from rolling. Out. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Set it back down. I'll put that in there. How much higher do you have to go? Uh, two blocks. Uh, is that what you're trying to go for? I think you're kind of close because it's got this kind of... I just set it down. Let's see what it does. Let me set it down and see what it does. Okay, it's coming down. Close. That's because I put this wedge here. Right? 
right here. That's not too bad. No, it's not wide. That's okay. loose. I just gotta put a little bit on this side here is where it's slightly loose. Maybe one more on the other side. That's, it. That's pretty good. So you give the guy with one arm the heavy side? Yeah, it should be air, right? You said it was air. All right, about that? Oh, it's pretty this solid. It's not going to blow apart when you drop it, is it? Why don't we don't scent know. it down gently? Should I get a machine? I think we should machine it. Huh? You got flying critters that look big. Oh, there's big bees. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, yep. Well, that's got interesting I'm gonna back the hell up now. Okay, we got, uh, I don't know what you do with those things. I think they're bumblebees, they're harmless. Are they? Are they? Those ones that got the big old... Are they like, are they ground wasps or something? No, these are bumblebees. I don't know. Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Style points. Well, that is very cool, actually. Very cool. I'm pretty happy with this. This is, this is way more interesting than the last ones.
They're, they're not happy. Nope. You're doing great. <laughs> oh. The keeper piece or? Pen blanks. More pen blanks? More pen blanks. That's where the pen blanks go down there in the secret cavity under the saw. You're supposed to dry damp wood in bags of sawdust so it doesn't crack for wood turning. Yeah, this is never going to. It just gets more buried. There's some spalting there. There's hope that this is going to be. Yep. Spalted. Oh. Whoa. 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 Sorry, I got excited. We should splash it. I think this one needs a splash. You broke it. Oh, Jeepers. Jeepers. For you, buddy. Can we glue that one back on there? I got a little epoxy in there. and. Oh, man, that is some spalted bottle stops if I've ever seen them. <laughs> Do you want some? Do you want some help there, or what am I? You okay. There's a walnut in here. Yay! Oh, this is wild. Multiple walnuts. And this is uh, some crazy green. <laughs> uh huh. Yep. Wow. Just that, like this, this situation here all up into there oh yeah look at the that entire edge there's all your like compression Quilt. curl stuff don't be ruining the surprise oh that's gross all the way down. that's some fuzzy grossness is that what that is all this oh yeah look at all those walnuts walnut hus and like fluff Oh, oh, careful, careful. careful. Yeah, this is going to be uh, a gentle maneuver. Should we flip it up or no? We can. If you want to see what's in it? That's cool. That is quite putrid. Okay, let's see if there's anything left in here. How is that soft at all, or is it still pretty solid? It's not punky. Really? No, it's solid. It looks like it, doesn't it? Oh, that is really solid. It's really solid. That, this, no, right this, here a little bit. That shouldn't be as solid as it is. All the spalting here. Look at all this curl. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's actually like completely curly and figured and stuff. Oh, even down here. That's bananas. Rotten bananas. <laughs> oh, that's two pieces. At least. Will be. Will be. I think you have to like ramp up your epoxy production for this project here. This thing is crazy. 
Look how thick these spalted lines are here. Look how thick it is. So meaty. And you get a little island of spalting right there. <laughs> the Isle of Spalt. <laughs> I, uh, Isle of Spalt. <laughs> Yep, that's a good one. That one's gonna be pretty solid. Wow, look at how weird stainings I mean, up this here. This is getting bigger, at least. Like, this is not small by any means. Look at all that curl. That's actually pretty big. 53? Yeah. And like kind of 32 by 53, that's... That's a coffee table by itself. Yeah. This is, this is crazy. This, Dude, that's what, yeah. it's just... Whatever the heck is going on here, I like that. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to like get these dried and then like pour See, some of that stuff all over it. Yes. This is wild. This it's, is... It's like a cloud. This is kind of getting into where like the crotch would have started. Is that where we are? Yes. And we're backwards. Yeah. So this would have been like yeah, the start right. of. A... Okay. And you've got a really nice contour here on that edge yeah. too. Like that is a beautiful form. There's a lot of figure in this. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, it's coming apart, so we're just gonna give her the flip. You gonna dump all your walnuts out? Do you care? Nope. Nope. Okay, well, I don't know, some people are like, I like the walnuts. Oh, that's wild. Holy, look at this thing. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this thing. Look at that vein. Water boy. Oh, I'm going to have to put a whole lot of water in here, but... Uh... <laughs> I think with this one, like, I'm surprised and I'm not surprised, like, I'm surprised that it's, like, so solid still. Me too. Especially with the spalting. I knew it was going to be, like, there going to be some like, weird grain in here. But yeah. this is even more spectacular than I was thinking it would be. Like, in the actual wood section. Because you got compression figure all the way down the whole, like, sides of the log, too. Yeah. It is kind of a weird crotch because it pretty much grew out at a 90 yeah. degree on this one lead here. I hope that that stays. ear stays on there. You got you got epoxy as glue back on. Nope. No, that's not going to come off. Do you want to label them so you don't We're gonna have to lose like, track of them later? I'm going to hold this up to you. You want to kind of like mop that thing on it? Just, nope, there we go. Don't get all the poop on the nice wood. I'm going to step away from the crap dust. Wow, Matt. This one's got a tremendous amount of figure in it. Holy ball sack. That, uh, Rotten bananas. What am I looking at here? This is... I, mean, I expected it to be weird. I just didn't expect it to be this, like, figured. Holy smokes. Look at this. Dude, that's crazy in here. Yeah. I like that. Watch your toes. Nice little pocket there. How's it look from that angle? Probably even better. It's That's a lot. That just, whole thing is curled. Yeah. That whole, all of this is Chatoyan. Yeah, but I did like. And it's got those deep ravines right. or Dude, ridges. There's almost like, in a weird way, like too much going on. It's too much. Like, there's <laughs> so much going on. It's so much. Too much character. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, all right, this is, yep. Wow. I think this is probably gonna be the best. 
what I was thinking. Holy cow. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yep, that'll do. So you've been hoping for the last couple of logs or what? This is more my kind of thing, yeah. The weirder the better. Yeah, I mean, it's just like the whole everything. Everything's just feathered. Right? Yes. All First there wasn't things. there wasn't enough. Now there's this too, is too much. much. This is too much. The next one's going to be just right. No. Oh. No, no, you want to try to pick it up from there? You're going to have to. This one's going to be hard to keep together now. We need like two more hands. You want me to try and get in there somehow and do some, I don't know what, catch it maybe? Did pretty good for a guy with one hand. Thank you. Real. With a five pound weight restriction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. weight restriction five pounds? For another week and a half it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's got some kind of fun plain song thing going on up top there. Look at look at this. Mm. This zone right here. The zone of awesome. I thought it was just dry there. That oh, is okay. weird. Leopard walnut. This is cool. Leopard this walnut. is cool. Yeah. This isn't tiger walnut. This is leopard walnut. I like whatever this is. This you can, is you can find some more of these. I'll allow it. Okay. Got the stamp of approval. Boop. The <laughs> Matt's stamp of approval. Even down here. Like, that's all like micro curly thing. Oh, and then that entire edge over there is yes. quilted too. Yeah. It's actually still kind of heavy. Shot yet. A lot of spiders on this one. Several different varieties of spiders coming out of here. Yep. Color looks a lot different on this one. Probably because it's, it's drier. It's oxidized. Oh, yeah, oxidized. It was out. This is the face that we cut yesterday. Okay. So this has been uh, oxidizing. So this is more your true color, which is like way better oh, actually. Oh my gosh, there's like blooms of figure in yeah. here. The chatoyance literally goes every direction there. That's like where the log decided to become a burl <laughs> and, a, and a log. I decided. And it didn't grow both ways. It was a conscious decision. We're not going to pick one, we're going to do both. So this actually worked out to be quite a pleasant surprise. I was not expecting there to be this much like actual solid usable stuff in here. I was kind of more expecting like, oh, a mush pocket and then some like normal-ish wood around it. But it's like a beautiful mush pocket and like crazy figure beautiful wood all the way around. And the mush pocket's actually solid, not mush. For a putrid burl, it's pretty beautiful. Yeah. It's got everything from the, the curl to the spalting and then natural voids for the epoxy. This hits so many levels. For... So many of these like jaggedy, I don't even know what you would even call these, like the pin curl things. Yep. Or it's got the spiky thing and then you got the actual curl figure and then you got the bigger waves of curl and you got the crotch raise. The islands of spalt. Isles of spalt. <laughs> Isles of spalt. <laughs> So much going on here. So you're gonna be doing like, is it an epoxy castellation? So you square it up or is it just more of a void fill with a natural live edge? Just How so, do you usually do that? Yeah, the 
initial ideas from the design concept is kind of like flush trim these 90 degrees and then maybe put some of those filler burls that came off of that first chunk as yeah. filler and just big desk or small table. So an actual encapsulation with square edges or yep. rectangular. Yeah, rectangular. Maybe some epoxy on the outside of one of the edges would be kind of neat. Okay, yeah. I guess you could do that. You could have like one live edge and then one kind of encapsulated backside or something. More of a translucent epoxy in some of the voids to see some of the really unique stuff going on inside the burl. So anything else you want to add, guys? The, this almost made it to Colton's oh, yeah. bonfire pit, and I'm so happy yeah. we salvaged it. When we brought it home, it almost did go in the fire pile. It just, uh, from the outside, it just looked like it was just a rotten kind of piece of crap. But unfortunately, I hate to say it that way, but it's what, what I thought it was. It definitely didn't look like much, and I don't blame you because, like, when I looked at it, I'm like, oh, it's just let's You're have cool some fun. Part. It's more like a let's have some fun and just saw it for fun for no real reason, just and, just to see. And then we let the bees find a new home overnight, and there was bees, <laughs> spiders. The bees got rehomed, and yeah. the spiders are still kind of Hanging figuring out, out what they're gonna do next with their lives. Putrid burl. Putrid burl. Yeah. Putrid burl. The putrid burl. <laughs> <laughs> so that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments on the future Burl, the Sawmill, or anything back in the shop, or who the heck these people are, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Thanks again, Chad and Colton, for whatever the hell this is. And until next time, <laughs> happy woodworking.